So you may have just installed iOS 16 and you might be trying to figure out how you can actually enable do not disturb mode on this version of software. Now doing this is very, very easy. It doesn't take too much time. The first thing you want to do is you want to swipe down on your control center. So swipe down from the top right or swipe up if you have an iPhone with a home button. And you want to find this specific option right here, which is do not disturb mode. Now it, you may not see it like that. You may just see focus mode. What you want to do is you want to force touch into this option here and you'll come into this specific panel. So it'll look more like this. Now at the very top, you will see do not disturb. Now this is exactly where you want to be at. So all you want to do here is you want to go and click on do not disturb right there and you will see this specific option will now be on. So that's pretty much how to do it. Now another thing you can do is click on the three dots next to it and you'll basically be able to click on settings right below it and you'll come into the do not disturb mode options here. So here this is, I mean this is a great way you can go ahead and go through and just kind of see exactly what's going on and you can just kind of configure what you want to do further. So you can allow certain people to access you, you can allow notifications from certain people, you can allow certain applications to access you here as well. So if you have like all the notifications apps except like Snapchat, we can still be notified of Snapchat here as well. And there's lots of other options here to customize screens. You can choose a lock screen if you're on iOS 16. That way when you turn that lock screen on, it'll go ahead and automatically turn on do not disturb mode, which is crazy. So this is new within iOS 16. So I think that's awesome. I don't really plan on using it, but that's another option as well as different home screens. So if you're on a different home screen, I believe it's the same exact thing. So you can use do not disturb mode and you can utilize certain you know pages on do not disturb mode and other ones you can't. So that's pretty much how to set it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.